Secret of Lens Technology. Something that you won't find on any other YouTube channel on photography because they're clueless and not because they don't want to give you the information or in any photography magazine. Um, also because none of those people have owned or tested as many lenses as I have. All of them collectively haven't actually. Oh, that's such an egotistical statement. Yeah, it might be true, however, also. Um, lens technology. Lens technology hasn't really improved any... Now, here's a contradiction I'm holding in my hands. I'm going to explain it in a second. Lens technology hasn't really radically improved at all. And... Ooh, my God. I mean, I sold 100 billion lenses back in the day, and that was uh, 20 years ago. And Leica has been making, and so has Zeiss, incredible lenses for 20 years prior to that, and they're still... 100% valid and they're used by the best photographers on earth where money is no object and they're like uh, I'm no like a fan I don't like like a digital cameras at all do not they suck buy a Fuji okay get a Fuji if you like Leica lenses that's fine buy a Leica uh, adapter to stick on your Fuji um, easy greasy um, those lenses are basically as old as me they're 40 plus years old. Lens technology is not a... Well, what are you talking about? Look at this lens that you're holding in your hand. Now, I did a video where I used this camera and I proved it. Handheld at 500 millimeters, okay? Not 200 millimeters, nor 300, nor 400, but at 500 millimeters, handheld in the house at 1 13th of a second. The vibration reduction is that good. I mean, 500 millimeters at one thirteenth of a second and the image was razor sharp well that's an improvement where has lens technology improved and where has it not improved it is improved on two different areas everybody thinks that oh he's just that old fat ball tattoo guy on youtube he's just always time talking about old lenses no that's not the case most people that say that are liars i'm calling you out you're a liar I have endlessly praised the Nikkor 20mm 1.8G, the 24mm. You see, where lenses improve, let's keep it short and simple, okay? Of the spectrum of lenses, kind of like the spectrum in the rainbow, the, there's only two ends and one technology where lenses have improved. Now, the technology is not that vibration reduction. That is not anything to do with the lens elements in this, uh, in this uh, telephoto lens. It does not. Okay, it controls one of the lens elements, but it's not actually part of the lens technology itself. Camera lenses have improved due to technological improvements in aspherical elements and doublet glasses, and uh, not on the doping. I mean, some of the radioactive lenses actually take better, uh, crisper pictures uh, that are more vibrant and beautiful because they have thorium in them, radioactive thorium, and they just render a beautiful image. You don't, they can't make those lenses anymore. You can still buy them off of eBay. Lenses have improved in two ends of the spectrum. Everything below basically 35 millimeter, but technically at like 28 millimeters and below. The lenses that I've been praising that are huge advancements over like older 20, 30 year old Nikkor lenses are in uh, the ranges of 20 millimeters, like the Fuji 16 millimeter. Incredible! The 24 millimeter uh, Nikkor uh, F1.8. Now that's a Chinese lens with the plastic outer casing. People are like, why are you praising that new lens, like the 20mm 1.8G? It's plastic! It's made in China! You are right, girlfriend. It is made in China, and it is made in plastic, but the images that come up from that lens are incredible. That lens even beats the hell out of the Zeiss 21mm. By 100, my Zeiss is bad at making ultra-wide lenses. This is a, the serious, this is the foremost area where lens technology is improved basically at 28 millimeters and wider. Everything between 35 millimeters and uh, about uh, 200 millimeters, it has stayed the same. There has been no advancements in lens. What do you mean by lens technology? Well, you know, the vibration control on this and the autofocus motors and stuff, you think that's lens technology? No, lens is that glass stuff in here, okay? This, you're confusing... Uh, 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 lens uh, drive and vibration technology for actual true lens technology. You see, there's two different technologies in all these advanced lenses, and this lens is incredible. I got two of these lenses. Damn! The vibration control? Okay, great, wonderful. 
the autofocus motor, incredible, wonderful. Yeah. That is not the glass that I see when I look at it. It's like, look at all that glass. That is something separate. That is a different type of technology that is in the lens. So when you say that, well, you, you know, this fat idiot's wrong. He says lens technology hasn't really been... That is something different. I'm talking about the actual glass itself. There's no vibration reduction on that 20 millimeter 1.8G nickel or the 24 millimeter 1.8G. There isn't. It does have a faster autofocus motor in there than the old, uh, any of the old G uh, D series didn't have any motors. Those are screw drive, but uh, they're obviously faster. The point being, but that's not the actual optical technology. Okay, when it comes to lens technology, we're talking about electronic lens technology, autofocus and vibration reduction versus optical lens technology. Okay, electronic lens technology and optical lens technology. They're both in the lens, but they're two different things. Get it? Good. But between 35 millimeters and about 200 millimeters, nothing has changed. And I made a video like a week ago saying that the biggest stinking, nasty, rancid, pathetic, scumbag lie is that old lenses uh, are not good enough to render on high megapixel cameras. And that is crap. That's not my opinion. All you people out there that bought some of these neat old ass lenses and are using them on like 36 megapixel D810, I mean, none of you people are bored and back. Oh, you lied. You know, this old ass camera, this old ass lens is not working well on my high megapixel D810. None of you are reporting that. You're not. And they get no comments like that. I mean, tens and tens and tens of thousands of purchases of old ass lenses, and nobody's bitching that, ah, oh, these don't work on these modern high megapixel. It's a stinking lie. Lens technology has improved. Optical lens technology has radically improved in the past 20 years only at basically 28 millimeters and wider due to vast improvements in the technology for designing aspherics and doublets. The lens technology has gotten better, better, better. But at 35 millimeters to about 200, Really, even like the old, three, like I got old 300 millimeter primes and 400 millimeter primes. Those are actually better than the modern ones. The modern ones, so I should have actually said 35 millimeters to, you know, 600 millimeters. Now, this is a zoom. It's not a prime. It's a zoom. This technology is also uh, obviously drastically improved. Zoom technology has certainly improved. I mean, we could not make back in the day these 28 millimeter to 300 millimeter lenses, you know, back 20 years ago. So it has improved in two areas, um, electronic lens technology and then optical lens technology at 28 millimeters and wider, okay, and zoom technology. So the summation of this video, since people say I flap my lips too much, blah, 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 get to the point, get to the point, okay. There have only been improvements in optical lens technology at 28 millimeters and wider, and electronic lens technology um, at uh, across the board on uh, especially zooms, but specifically, you know, like the uh, the uh, ultra zooms like this, and uh, you know, 28 to 300, 18 to 200. But as far as the actual optical technology between 35 millimeter and you know 500, 600 millimeter, that has not improved. It's not improved. Those old ass 40 year old Leica lenses and uh, otherwise, those old Schneider lenses, you know, those lenses that are even older than me, not only has there been no improvements on those uh, prime lenses at 35 millimeters and above, you know, okay, 35, 28 to 35, there's not been any improvement. Things have actually mostly gone downhill, and that's a fact too. So, there we go. Just don't, don't, just don't fail to differentiate between optical lens technology and electronic lens technology. You know, this is a wonder box. It's like, oh my God, the vibration is incredible. Yes, it is. And we could not have had a 200 millimeter to 500 millimeter zoom lens, you know, back in the day. Well, we could have, but it probably would have been really crappy. Um, so this lens is an absolute wonder. It's a wonder, 200 millimeter, 300 millimeter, 400 millimeter, 500. I mean, we couldn't do this back in the day. But 
you know, the lie that Nikon, you know, and the reason for that lie is very simple. A lot of people have asked me this year, so what's the reason for that lie? The reason for that lie is, is that when you go out and you buy that awesome old 20-year-old lens that I told you is just the epic tits and that you're an idiot not to own it, Nikon, nor Canon, nor anybody makes a dime if you pedal your ass out and buy that used lens off of eBay or a pawn shop. They want you buying their new crap. Nikon, don't make no money. Oh, let me uh, repeat this. People love it when I swirl around in my chair, apparently. Let me, let me show you the holy revelation. Is the big lens companies make no money off of you when you buy an old lens that they stopped making 10, 15, 20 years ago. You see, when you buy one of those really awesome old lenses, they don't make any money off of you. And they don't like that. Oh, Whew, what a revelation that was. My head is dizzy. That is the secret. They don't make no money off you buying that old crap. Except that old crap is not crap. It's awesome. And you folks have confirmed that for yourselves. Okay, That's why I make those old lens recommendations. But I'm not just about old lenses. I've been highly praising some really modern lenses like this one. And the Nikkor 20mm and the 24. So, And I'm sick of hearing people saying that crap. Like, oh, that old, that's all that dude does is recommend these old lenses. If those old lenses are awesome and inexpensive and in many cases better than current lenses, you're damn right I'm going to recommend them. And what the hell have you got to say about it? If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two or tell me to jump off a cliff or send me a big fat juicy pizza, which is exactly what my fat butt needs. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye.